Hello, my name is Shahriyar Shahriyari, and this is a lecture in a series of lectures on introductory linear algebra based on my book, Retro Linear. Uh, this is a very short lecture, and the purpose is just to prove that the intersection of two subspaces is a subspace. So what we're going to show in this uh, a lecture is that if V is a vector space and W1 and W2 are two subspace of V, then their intersection is also a subspace of V. This is not a very complicated theorem to prove, but it's one of the, well, as, as an example of a proof that we can do in general vector spaces. So uh, before we start, uh, let me just say a few words about how you might start a proof. This is meant to be for people who are um, who are novices in terms of proofs. And so I want to talk a little bit about the structure of the proof. What you usually do, what's, what's a useful thing to do, not always, everything has uh, exceptions, but in general, the best thing to do is to always ask the question, what is it that I want to prove? What's the final thing? It's not to focus on what you know. You want to focus on where you want to end up. Uh, the analogy that I like to say is that if you want to drive from Chicago to New York, you could say, okay, I'm in Chicago. Let me try all the ways out of Chicago one of them probably will get me to New York. But that's not a smart way of going about it. You need to have New York always in mind as your destination and then try to figure out, where, where, work your way backwards to see, okay, which way do I go to get there? You always have to have that destination in mind. The same thing in proofs. You always start not by saying, well, what is it that I know, but what is it that I want to prove? So in this case, for example, we want to prove that something is a subspace of, um, of V. Then the next question you ask is that, Again, forgetting about what you know about this particular case, but you, but you say, how do you prove such a thing in general? How do you prove that something is a subspace? And, and to answer that question, you may have to review a definition. What does the subspace mean? Because as, as soon as you understand that, then you know how to prove it because the definition will tell you the ingredients you need to prove that something is a subspace. Or there might be an actual theorem that helps you prove things that says, if blah, 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 then something is a subspace. And, and so you can use that theorem. So you think about how you prove such a thing in general. And it's only at that point and not earlier that you think about what is given and how am I gonna use of the stuff that I'm given in that definition or in that theorem to prove the thing that I wanna prove. So in our case here, what do we wanna prove? We wanna prove that something is a subspace. So before we get started and thinking about this thing, we should think about what is a subspace how do you prove something is a subspace? And so I will review very quickly. First of all, what's a vector space? It's a non-empty set together with an addition that satisfies certain axioms and scalar multiplication that satisfies certain axioms. Um, and, and the set together with this addition and scalar multiplication are called a vector space. Um, we have seen this in previous lectures over and over again. Uh, so the games you can play in a vector space are addition and scalar multiplication. Um, now, what's a subspace? A subspace is a vector space inside another vector space. So if you start with a vector space V and W is a non-empty subset of V, then W is a subspace if in its own right, with the same operations as V, is a vector space. So a vector space inside a bigger space is called a subspace. But we had a theorem, um, and this is, again, we're not thinking about the particulars of the theorem we want to prove, but what we know, we have a theorem that says, what do you have to check? to check if something is a, a subspace or not. If V is a vector space, if already you know that you are inside a vector space V and you have a subset of it and you wanna prove that it's a subspace, all you have to do is prove that the zero vector of the big space is in W, that uh, uh, W is closed under addition, which means that if you take two arbitrary elements of W and add them, you still will stay within W and um, you are closed under scalar multiplication. If you take a scalar, any arbitrary scalar and any arbitrary element of your subset W or a leg subspace W, and you multiply them, you stay in W. These were objects of uh, previous lectures already. And so that's why I'm going over them so quickly. So going out to our theorem, again, the theorem is that we have a vector space. We have two subspaces. W1 and W2 are known to be subspaces. And we want to show that W1 intersection W2 is also a subspace. This is not a hard theorem to prove, but my focus here and this theorem is actually thinking about the structure of the proof. So let me review that one more time. What's our proof strategy? What do we want to prove? We want to know that we prove that W1 intersection W2 is a subspace of V. V already is a vector space. 
and W1 intersection W2 is a subset of V, but we don't know if it's a subspace of, the, uh, of V. And now because of that, our theorem um, in the previous slide uh, is, is, uh, uh, is applicable. And therefore what we have to ask is, does W1 intersection W contain the zero vector of V and is it closed under addition and scalar multiplication? If the answer to those three things is yes, then W1 intersection W2 is a subspace and the theorem is proved. Um, you can think of it pictorially where we are um, in, in this way. V is a big vector space. W1 and W2 are both subspaces. The intersection, what is that? Those are the elements that are in both W1 and W2, um, the stuff in the middle, the yellow stuff. And, and that's what you want to show that has the zero vector and the zero vector of these in there and closed under addition and scalar multiplication. Now that we have the strategy, let's do the proof. Does W1 intersection W2 contain the zero vector of V? Is the zero vector in there, in that intersection? Well, what do we know about the zero vector? Well, the zero vector is going to be in W1. Why? Because W1 is a subspace and every subspace contains the zero vector of V. Um, and uh, zero vector V is also in W2 because W2 is a subspace. And, and if it's in W1 and W2, then it must be in the intersection. That's what intersection means, something that's in both W1 and W2. And so we just proved that uh, W1 intersection W2 has the zero vector V. And so that condition is satisfied. Now, is it closed under addition? So let's pick two arbitrary elements, U1 and U2 in the intersection and, and try to see if their sum is in the intersection. Now, I don't know what that V is. I don't know what W1 and W2 are. And I certainly don't know what U1 and U2 are, but I still can make the argument. So is U1 plus U2 in W1 plus W intersection W2? And how do I decide that? Well, I will say, well, U1 and U2 are in W1. That's one thing I know. Why are they in W1? Well, they're in their intersection. So they're, among other things, they're in W1. But W1 is a subspace, so it's closed under addition. And so U1 plus U2 must be in W1. Likewise, um, um, U1 and U2 also in W2. So because W2 is a subspace, um, their sum will have to be in W2 as well. But if it is U1 plus U2, whatever it is, U1 plus U2 is one thing. Whatever it is, it's in W1 and W2, then that means that it's in the intersection. And that also means that we're done and we showed that um, the addition, uh, the uh, W1 intersection W2 is closed under addition. We took two arbitrary elements, showed that their sum is in W1 intersection W2. What about scalar multiplication? If I take some element, arbitrary element, not a particular element, an arbitrary element of W1 intersection W2, an arbitrary scalar alpha, do I know that alpha times u is also in the intersection? I will have to have an argument for why that is. To show something in the intersection, you have to show that it's in both things. So that's how we do, which is what we did in previously too. U is in W1 intersection W2. So in particular, it's in W1. But if it's in W1, when you multiply it by a scalar, it stays in W1. Why? Because W1 is a subspace. And subspace is a vector space. And so it's closed under scalar multiplication. Likewise, U is in W2 and W2 is a subspace. So that means that alpha times U is also in W2. Well, when, now that I've proved that alpha U is in W1 and I also proved that it's in W2, I really proved that it's in the intersection. And so I've answered yes to the question um, of whether or not it's closed under scalar multiplication. So now I know that it has the zero vector, it's closed under uh, addition and scalar multiplication. And then I, I'm done with my proof and it, uh, um, U, W1 intersection W2 is a subspace of V. So again, think about the structure of the proof before you do the proof, then everything becomes easy. At the beginning, it might be a mystery. How do you get started? What is it that I'm trying to prove? How do I prove that in general? And then do I have a theorem, a definition that I need to know? And then you start from uh, what you know and try to use those to get uh, to that destination. That's the end of this short lecture. Keep hydrated and I will see you in the next lecture.